Today I'm going to be sharing my favourite open-ended toys for toddlers. or welcome back to my channel. As some of you will already know, I have a little boy called Ben who is nearly two and a half years old and today I want to share some of our favourite open-ended toys. Open-ended toys are toys that have endless different ways to play with them. They are not just one thing and it involves quite a bit of creativity and imagination on the child's part to create play using them. It also means that the toys can last for years and years and years as children play with them differently at different stages of their development. I often see picture perfect playrooms on Instagram with beautiful sets of open-ended wooden toys and in reality lots of these are very expensive. So although we have invested in quite a few pieces, lots of the open-ended toys that I'm going to show you today are things that you have around your house elsewhere, things that can very easily be DIY'd and made at home too. I will also link below in the description box everything that I talk about today in case you're interested in going to find something similar for your little ones too. So let's get started with my top 10 open-ended toys for toddlers. First up we have play scarves. So these are so cheap to buy in a big pack on Amazon. You can also just cut up random bits of old material, you can use blankets, you could cut up old sarongs or just use old sarongs as well. These Ben has been playing with since he was a baby. When he was really small, he could just grab them and wave them around. They're great for tying on to things above the baby. So for example, now he has a pickler. If we had a second little one, then it would be so easy to just attach these to the pickler and have the baby lie underneath and see all the colors. Now they're used as fields for his animals, as ponds for his ducks. He uses them as dressing up costumes. So um, in the footage that I took to make this video, he is wearing one being the highway rat, using one as a saddle for Thomas being his horse, and one as his cape. He uses them as blankets for his soft toys. He blows them into the air. They're just endless possibilities for something that is just so cost effective. Next up, I want to mention building toys. Now, these are obviously open-ended because there are so many different things that can be built with them. There are also so many different options for building toys out there, wooden building blocks, mega blocks, Duplo, stipple bricks. I want to give a special mention to three of our favourite building toys at the moment. I think because he is getting slightly older, he's looking for something that does offer an element of challenge and give him a lot of different possibilities. So for Ben's Christmas, and I did mention this in his Christmas gift guide, which I'll link above and below for you, he was gifted magna tiles. These are just so cool. To be fair, I think I enjoy playing with them as much as Ben does. Ben is using them in so many different ways. He, the other day he was clipping together all the purple ones to create an aubergine field for his pigs. He is building cubes, he's building towers, he's building tunnels, houses. They're also really fun to put away and that's probably one of the things I love most about them. Ben is very excited to tidy them away and just clip together all the ones of a similar shape. It is also amazing to watch the learning that's taking place when he is playing with these. And while magnet tiles are on the slightly pricier side of the spectrum, I also want to mention a very cheap DIY building option which Ben is loving. And that is just to, to use random bits of wood off cuts from things that you're building around the house. Thomas created all of these for Ben and they're just bits of wood that were sawn off what he was building. Ben is also so proud because some of them he's helped to saw and sand, so he really loves that element. Even things like this is the bottom of our Christmas tree when it was sawn off before we put it in its holder this year. And then we've added some kind of cute extras like this little fairy door so that he can add a door to his building. So many possibilities. When he was younger, he would just use them to kind of stack them up. Now he can actually build structures for his people, for his animals, and really provide hours of entertainment. And the third type of building toy I want to mention are some nuts and bolts. We also have some pieces of wood with some holes in them. These are great for fine motor skills. Ben is particularly interested in these because Thomas has been doing a lot of DIY because we bought a new house that involves a lot of renovation. So Ben really likes to be involved and be doing something very similar to his dad. 
and it's really lovely to watch all the different possibilities that he can build with these. My next toy isn't even really a toy, it is just random things that have been collected from nature and random things that we have collected from around the house that have made Ben's loose parts bowl. Now the amazing thing about this is just watching what Ben does with all the elements inside. We have things like pine cones which Ben uses as trees, he uses them to feed his squirrels. We have corks which Ben uses as toadstools, mushrooms, um, he builds them up. We used to have a lot of different posting activities in which involved these as well. Similarly, curtain rings, they're just simple wooden curtain rings that when he was smaller, we had post activities with as well. We would tie ribbons onto these. Now we find them hanging on things all over the house. We also have some loose parts that we have purposely bought. Things like cones, which can be trees, ice creams, little trees in which he uses with his woodland animals, little acorns, which again he loves to feed to his pigs, and then just some things like these which came off of old Ikea furniture that we're no longer using, pegs, sticks, never underestimate the power of a stick indoors or outdoors. And then these are wooden peg people. So you can buy them just blank, you can buy different colored ones, you can buy them wearing little hats and things like that. These were painted by my aunt for Ben's Christmas. They are the characters from one of his favorite books, Handa's Surprise, Handa's Hay in the Handa series. Um, and they are a gorgeous loose part that he can evolve in any game that he is playing. I know that this one is definitely one of the pricier items I get in, but it is so beautiful. So we actually had a smaller, cheaper version of a stacking rainbow, which we got for Ben's first ever Christmas. However, he played with it so much that we did look at getting him a more expensive one, and it was a gift recently for him from my brother. It is gorgeous and played with in so many different ways. You can obviously stack it. Ben uses them really often as barns for his animals. He also uses them as enclosures for his animals. You can make beautiful different shapes, spirals, which you can roll a ball over. An absolute favorite is to use them as tunnels for cars to go through. This is pretty much a staple for any Montessori, Waldorf playrooms and for good reason. It is just such a beautiful piece, although it is a bit more of an investment but as I said there are much cheaper options for example that's what we started out with to know that Ben really did enjoy playing with it. And now to my most cost effective open ended toy and that is pom poms. These are ones that I picked up for Ben's second birthday and they're possibly now my favourite open ended toy because there are just so many possibilities. So these go in the bath and can be fished out. They are balls for Ben's dogs. They are food in his play kitchen. They are snowballs. They are rolled under rainbow tunnels. It is amazing to watch Ben play with these. I also love it to use these to actually set up activities. They're great for fine motor skills with tweezers to, to transfer things from one container into another. They're great for colour sorting. They're great for basic counting activities. I would say if you're going to buy one open-ended toy, get a hold of some pom-poms. Obviously these ones are relatively small, so you need to know your child. Ben is really good at not putting things in his mouth, so I was really happy to give him these ones, but you can, for example, get giant pom-poms, which would be much less of a choking hazard. And for another toy that Ben has enjoyed since he was a tiny baby, and that is some balls. These are obviously great indoors and outdoors. They're super for teaching basic ball skills like throwing and catching. We roll them through hoops. We throw them into different things. We also often use them as pieces of fruit for pretend play. Again, endless possibilities and the textures on these are something that Ben loved when he was very small. Recently we've discovered the geometric puzzles. Now I love these because there's not just one picture that has to be built. We got this set which actually has little cards that come with it where it shows you possibilities, things that you can build, which is also great, but often Ben is just doing his own thing with them and I love that. 
Recently, we also got Ben this one, which has lots of beautiful wooden diamond shapes, which he's been using to stack up to make beautiful shapes on the floor. Recently, however, the absolute favourite has been this one. He's loving to use these pieces to build houses. He is also loving to just make big shapes like stars on the table or on the floor with these. And the puzzle itself is also a huge hit. Next up, we have coloured stacking rings. Now, I did mention these again quite recently in Ben's Christmas gift guide because they were a gift for his Christmas from family members. They are kind of like the rainbow on the expensive side, but it is so beautiful to watch Ben play with these. They're fantastic quality, and it's amazing to see how many different options there are for play. They can obviously be used for colour and sizes sorting. You can build pyramids with them. Ben has been using them as enclosures for his animals and also to make different shapes. He's even been walking around with one on his head as a crown, some on his arms as bracelets, so they've made themselves into dressing up costumes as well. And for my big ticket item, I'm going to suggest a wobble board. We actually got this when we bought Ben his Pickler Triangle, which genuinely is the best investment we have ever made in a product for Ben. The wobble board is awesome because it can obviously be wobbled on, it can be used as a seesaw, you can turn it upside down and use it as a slide coming off the sofa. Ben also uses it in conjunction with this Pickler where he'll maybe climb up the wobble board and then slide down the slide. It is a tunnel for cars, a ramp for cars, you name it, this can be used in so many different ways and it has provided hours of fun for Ben and for the whole family. And my final suggestion is actually not even a toy, it is what used to be our washing basket until Ben claimed it. This has been a boat, it is a plane, it is a crib for a soft toy, it is a hat, an umbrella, a cave. He does also use it to help us actually put the washing into the washing machine which is one of his favourite activities. The most recent use of the basket has been Santa's sack, where he has walked around the house delivering presents to different people from his basket. This is just such a simple one, but is so effective and something which is genuinely played with here daily. Now, I could go on and on when talking about toys because I genuinely feel so passionately about giving toddlers toys where they create the play and they use their creativity and imagination. I would love to know what open-ended toys your toddlers are loving down in the comments below. I think it's great to share with other parents what your little ones love because every parent and every budget is so different. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I do often make toy review videos, so if that's something that you're interested in, please have a think about hitting subscribe and giving it a like if it has given you some value and some ideas today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me in another video. Bye-bye!